to think, well, who owns the commercial real estate? And I put together this little strategy of why don't we buy shopping centers that are intentionally in majority black neighborhoods that are neighborhoods we call on the cusp of change, either they're about to decline if nothing happens or ideally they're you know, about to appreciate and we wanna position people to appreciate. You know, Using my general growth experience, we buy retail that has visibility, access and parking at compelling prices. We try to buy an eight cap or 10 cap on, on uh, current NOI. Uh, and our tenants are what I call non-Amazonable. So we don't own Best Buy and West Elm and the Cheesecake Factory. The centers we own, as you will see, are service-oriented, healthcare, 20% of our tenants are healthcare, carry out pizza, the business services, UPS store, dentist office, you know, things that we go to. And even during the worst part of the pandemic, you know, our centers continue to uh, do well because they were necessity in, in related. So, as I mentioned, what was clear is that people of color, I didn't know, I've been in the business 30 years, I didn't know anybody black that owned the shopping center, right? And there was all this talk about closing the racial wealth gap. And, you know, we go past these shopping centers every day. And I, and I remember nobody black, I didn't know anybody black that owned it. I didn't know any black that anyone black that managed it or leased it. And it hit me like a ton of rocks that if everybody's talking about closing the racial wealth gap, rate wealth is created by owning assets, assets that generate revenue, assets that appreciate over time. And so our strategy became, let's do the work. We're gonna find opportunities using the same skills we've been doing as sort of a lender and an investor, do the underwriting, uh, you know, structure the financing, uh, do the due diligence, you know, um, you know, look at a variety of centers and figure out which one made sense. And then determine how much equity was really needed. A million dollars, 200,000, 500,000. And for a short period of time, intentionally invite black, local and other impact investors to invest along with us after we've done the work. <laughs>